Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> okay, so now we get um, Rico J. Puno. Puno. And this is on Mix. We nice. love Mix as a whole in, in their acoustic environments and how they mix like music. performance, yeah. really. Uh, and this is the song The Way We Are. Right, and uh, yeah, Rico is another individual that I think a lot of people consider to be like an absolute legend. Yes. Um, I would love to know where some of these people that we're sort of checking out now, what they're up to now. Yeah. Um, like, for example, I think someone that really surprised me was like Jose Marichan was like, he's probably first a businessman and then a musician. A musician. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but he it's like is, a seasonal musician. <laughs> but he is the first ever Filipino artist, I think, to go diamond. What? Yeah, so he he's just an anomaly of anomalies, really. I think it's something like that. So I read that in Very a comment. And the comment had a lot of likes and everyone agreed as well. So wow, I think that's probably true. Um, not that you should base you know, you should base facts on likes, but I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, but, uh, it, I'm it running just... it through you guys again. <laughs> but yeah, this is Rico J Puno. Uh huh. So the way we the way were, you, or the way we were, the I way think. we were. Great song. What? What did you say, my, sir? My, my favorite song. His oh, favorite your favorite song. song. His favorite song. Yeah. Great speaking voice, though. Mm, wonderfully resonant. <laughs> yeah, guapo <laughs> means guapo the guapo same in Spanish. Like, like, good looking. Good looking, yeah. The good old days, the good old days. Let's talk about it. Nice. Let's go. Some city ng mga bagay na nagpaligahan sa atin noon. First love. If that was the whole performance, I'll still watch it. A hundred percent. It's just him talking. He could just recite anything. <laughs> what a great performer, isn't it? Like setting the whole atmosphere so well. Great storyteller. You know, it's, it's, this is pinnacle and of like a, I guess old performers like performers that have been doing it for a while and they have this sort of comfort on being able to uh, you know we, we experienced this when we were kids and, and I guess like older directors and stuff that I would always be like communicate to your audience talk talk talk, yeah. talk speaking to people like gary valenciano now that's very prevalent as well in the philippines where it's like oh they so always encouraged yeah i remember i think I, I think the question was like you know what sort of advice would you give like a you know a new up company it's like speak to your audience communicate you know, when you connect when you're there like right obviously in person um don't just go perform your song pick up your check and go it's like actually let them know who you are and, and what you're like and what they're like and try and create this sort of communication because me, that's essentially what music is. You're trying to communicate a feeling, a thought, a story uh, into, and you're trying to infiltrate that thought into someone else's world. That's right. Right, so... You're, uh, remember that perform, uh, music and performing is about communication. Regardless of language, regardless of instant understanding it's about communication it's setting a very clear canvas for the picture to be painted yeah so you can understand this is obviously like a very special piece to him i don't understand what he's saying some of it when he speaks in english but uh we can always understand three things it's a very special piece to him right that he's decided to take time to introduce and add a prologue uh, uh what, what is it before epilogue or prologue a prologue yeah i think to uh to a book yeah. I don't know. Don't read yeah. many. Yeah, yeah, I don't read many books nowadays. Now I hear them. So I'm not <laughs> long enough. Um, and it's prologue. prologue, yeah. And uh, thank you, mother. And the the description of whichever woman or lover he's talking about or significant other, it's special enough that throughout all these years he still remembers such memories. So that in straight away it resonates. I'd imagine with millions of people. So. Yeah, it, th this type of. Um, opening and intros were very popular in South America and, and our folkloric music. Yeah, yeah. It, they, they would tell stories about 
the the space where they were their daily lives in this in this manner too maybe when they wrote the song and yeah. what mental space they were go turn it up was not expecting that voice Okay, after being so resonant, so connected, so down and grounded, we get this soulful, very up here, you know? Ah, Go wonderful. On. Let me just turn it up just a tiny bit more. I think I can turn, yeah. In the mic is fine. And if we choose to do it all again, I feel like I know the song. Tell me. It's very soulful, isn't it? It's close. It reminds me about Brian Adams, actually, a bit. Oh, that is fantastic. Misty He exudes legendary status. <laughs> this is fantastic. He's got residence from his speaking voice, so oh, it's interesting to see how he really integrates Wait a that. second, I'll tell you exactly who it reminds me of. This is pinnacle soul, rhythm and blues type of like feel that I'm getting right here. Uh, very si similar to like uh, Luther Van Vandross, you know? Like the guy that's in Never Too Much, you know? It's like it's that like speechy, um, uh, whispery, very... Uh, breathy forward soulful big melody that's very like it, it goes up and down in this idea of falsettos and full folds mm. and he plays with that uh, dynamics vocally speaking yeah luther van dross that's what like he, he'll be able of. to sing alternative mm, yeah. no soul uh, or rock the... funk funk and soul that's all i'm feeling here sure i mean he could probably do both but i i, I feel actually a complete opposite <coughs> go on bless you daddy that's the... like open to me the whole idea of of uh soul and and rhythm and blues coming so through in this piece it's it's very tangible for me it's just like so there yeah. oh nice switch i like that Bow down, bro. That was perfect. Perfection. Oh, 
Okay, props to the pianist as well. She absolutely created the perfect atmosphere right from the beginning. Um, he's just such a storyteller, such a painter. So I don't even know. It's, it's it's the magnitude of 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 artistry at its maximum expression. I really like that. That was so great. Sounds like um. Yeah, like a declaration of love, a reminiscence of the past, you know, uh, but not in a sense of like, yeah, not in a sense of 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 a of a song, more in a sense of a, yeah, like a like a monologue now, you know, that it felt more like a monologue where you'd hope the love of your life was listening, you know, but yes, but you know, unfortunately, a monologue is because it's you and your thoughts, it's no you and yourself, listening, you know, that's right. But for some reason, art and theatre, I've decided to do that. Openly, right? We, but the pieces are monologue, monologues. But, yeah. But, you know, it's already not a monologue, but it is a monologue. Because yeah. you're... The, the well, character doesn't know that there's an audience. Of course. There's a fourth wall. You know what I <laughs> yes. mean? But, but essentially, to some extent, the reason why the monologue exists is so that the audience connects more to the character. Uh-huh. So the fourth wall is broken. You but know? still there. For the actor. For the actor, yeah. Yeah. But what if the actor was to ask... That's like asking to the universe for answers. Right. You know, asking for the audience to respond, right? So, I guess he's asking the love of his life or what, or the past love of his life to... Remember. To to listen. Reminisce. Yeah, to reminisce with him. Mm. Not to reignite no, the candle of love, but to... Walk through the same parks we once walked. Yeah. Mm. It's as if the candle had gone off. It was a scented candle and he had gone off. But and you, you just want to linger on the scent. Yeah. yeah. You still want that scent to linger. And perhaps that room will ever have, will always have that smell. And that scent. That scent. <laughs> <laughs> smell sounds too abrupt. <laughs> so, smell doesn't usually represent something pleasant. It would always <laughs> fucking stink that room. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's an immortalized piece. I... And that's the room where you were, Isabella. Who, who's Isabella? <laughs> That fucking room. Ephra! Oh, Jesus Christ. Isabella is not real. She's a fictional character. Okay. For legal purposes. <laughs> Stay in school. Don't drink. Yeah. And also, mm-hmm. listen to your... Parents. Listen to your parents. And that right there, people, is what we call progress. And the crack hit in the pocket. Ephra, the Listen to him as well. <laughs> I'm glad that all our listeners are over like adults. I this love is, that. <laughs> this is not a show for children. This is not a show for children. Okay. Uh, moving on from those beautiful statements made ah, by my brother. Talking about children though. Ah uh, yes, absolutely. This song, wow, good. Great segue. Well Ever, done. Oh my god, you click it the wrist. Oh, weird, man. You need some collagen. <laughs> 